Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse, and you're joining me again in another hotel room because I'm about to teach class in Jacksonville. But what I wanted to talk about with you guys today is, and I'm sure you probably heard it, oh, you're a nurse and you carry a gun, or you're a nurse and you're a conservative, or you're a nurse and you don't think there should be universal health care. Like, the whole blanket of you're a nurse, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you would do these social no-nos. So we're going to talk about that today. Uh, I'm going to interject probably a lot of my own experiences into this video and into this equation. I have a lot of nurses who follow me. And um, perhaps if you are in the audience and you're a nurse, maybe you can chime in in the comment section below and let me know if you've heard this too. Um, but what I want to talk about first is nurses and um, how people kind of perceive us and then how we really are, or at least I and the nurses that I hang out with are. So a lot of the, oh my gosh, you're a nurse and you carry a gun, that comes from, I think, an increasing world of abstraction where we have really conservatively two generations, probably three in some cases, maybe even four, who have grown up on TV and who have grown up seeing abstraction as a reality without tested concrete reality to check it. And so you have shows like Grey's Anatomy or ER, whew, boy, I'm dating myself or house or even way back in the day with MASH. And people get a lot of their perspectives, I think, sometimes incorrectly, from what popular culture tells us through these different shows. And then the expectation is that, okay, if you're a nurse or if you're a doctor and you think X or you do this or you don't do this, then, oh my gosh, you're a terrible nurse, doctor, practitioner, or whatever. And I've gotten this oftentimes because I am a nurse and I do carry a gun. Yes, even in places where oh, I wasn't supposed to, because guess what? If it's private property, the worst that can happen to me is I get asked to leave. And of course, you know, this does come potentially with, oh my gosh, you could lose your job. Yep, I sure could, but also could save a life. And by the way, no employer is going to tell me that I'm not going to have the ability to save my own life or that because I work for them, I therefore have to be a victim of a violent criminal. Sorry, not going to happen. Yeah, I am a nurse and I do carry a gun. The first time that I ever got asked this uh, directly was ironically at a Second Amendment rally. I got to think back how many years ago this was. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight. Wow, I'm so old. <laughs> yeah, so it was eight years ago. And at this particular Second Amendment rally that I was at, there was a lot of press there. Actually, there were more press than actual participants. And I believe I was one of maybe two or three females there. And of course, I went in my nursing scrubs with uh, a, a weapon, of course. And uh, that question that I got was actually from Irish National News, I believe, uh, or basically an Irish television news reporting. And the dude comes up to me and he goes, do you, okay, you know, the whole like, question and answer, question and answer, I'm gonna play gotcha. <laughs> do you find that it's odd that you're a nurse and you carry a gun? I'm sorry if I've got Irish folks out there and I butchered your accent, I'm doing the best. Do you find that it's odd that you're a nurse and you carry a gun? Like, <sighs> No. How can I take care of other people if I myself am physically compromised in my security? I have to be able to take care of myself before I can render aid to anyone else. <laughs> so I'm passing the microphone back forth, back forth with him, you know. And he finishes, I never will forget this as long as I live. He finishes like with the, what he thinks is going to be the got me. So if I meet you in a dark alleyway, should I be afraid? And I just look at him. I said, no, I'll protect you. <laughs> Red face. Dude's nads just got snipped. Yeah, that's right. I'm a female and I carry a gun. When it comes to nursing and why um, I carry a gun as a nurse, it's part of my natural rights. And by the way, taking the Florence Nightingale oath and also taking the Hippocratic oath if you're a physician, that does not negate your natural rights as a human being. And don't let anybody ever tell you that. Got a lot of really stupid people out there. Stupid and very self-satisfied people who think because they saw Alan Alda be a doctor on MASH and, and Alan Alda has leftist principles that therefore all good physicians and healthcare practitioners, including nurses, should be leftists. No way, Jose. Definitely not. Also, when it comes to conservative principles... A lot of people will have this sort of false dichotomy in their head of how do you reconcile, you know, you chose a path as a profession or as a calling, as a calling, you chose this as a calling, and therefore you have to want to help everybody, right? And the government is the best way to do that. <laughs> Wrong. 
<laughs> Wrong. Uh, there has to be a reconciliation of history. Yeah, social socialistic programs do not work. And socialism has a 100% track record of failure. That's right. And usual descent into dictatorship and complete and abject despotism. Sorry, if I want to help my patients, they need to be alive. And government has a wonderful track record of genocide and killing people. And you may say, oh, well, how in the world do you get that from social programs? Listen, <laughs> like I don't want to see any more of my rights, nor should my patients have to see any of their rights over to a government, especially a central government, uh, for the purposes of living, right? Um, that's, that's not what this nurse thinks. And I think also a lot of people will confuse your principles with your practice. My principles inform my practice, okay? But practice and the way that I, for instance, change a dressing <laughs> or the way that I, for instance, start an IV, that's not affected by the way that I view rights in history, okay? Um, so a lot of people will, oh, you're a nurse and, you know, you're conservative or, oh, you're a nurse and you, know, you believe in the Constitution. Oh, you're a nurse and you actually believe in oh, personal responsibility. Gee whiz. Consequences to our actions. How could you be so heartless? Ha, huh, shudder. You hear this a lot. And, you know, at this point in my life, and honestly, I've never really apologized for it, um, but I would encourage you nurses out there and, you know, other folks who have healthcare practitioners as family members, don't be apologizing for this. You know, carry your gun. I don't care what the little sign says. Oh, I could lose my job. Keep your mouth shut and carry deep. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, could you lose your job? Yeah, you could. But then again, you know, this is your personal responsibility. How much do you want to live? Oh, but I could get fired. Oh, but it's against the law. That's right. Okay. So how about this? If you're that concerned about breaking the law and breaking the law is scarier to you than being forced on your knees uh, and being shot in the back of your head. Okay, that's fine. Kneel down and die. But if you value life, like this nurse values life, not only of myself, but of other people, innocent people, then carry your gun. All right. And the gun is not a talisman. This is not an amulet to ward off the evil attacker spirits. This is a tool. And nurses and healthcare providers, just like any other tool, if you're practicing putting airways in, what do you do? You drill it. You practice with it. It is a tool. So it's not enough just to have that gun. It's not enough just to carry that gun. You need to drill with it. You need to practice with it. You need to push yourself with it. It is a discipline. And the thing that probably puts most people off or that makes people feel really uncomfortable is that they have a deep discomfort with the dichotomy of man and with the abject reality of good and evil. In their minds, in the minds of the confused, it seems so impossible that a human being who has a heart to care for people, nurses, healthcare providers, that a human being who has the heart to care for people would also have the heart to embrace righteous violence when the need arises because they're not comfortable with violence. All they've ever seen is probably something on a TV screen and all they've ever seen of guns is something that showed up in the bad guy section of a movie, right? But when it comes right down to it, Nurses are human beings, and healthcare providers are human beings. And to be a full human being, you have to embrace, if you are a responsible person, you must embrace the responsibility to secure yourself, to provide your own security. Listen, a cop is not going to be there for me, okay? You know, you, <laughs> your response time, if you are lucky in decent metro areas, what, like 7, 15 minutes? It might as well be forever if you're in need. I am a nurse who carries a gun because I value life. And because the Florence Nightingale oath that I took, and also for those of you who are um, healthcare providers who took the Hippocratic oath, life for us is sacred. Innocent life is sacred. And it deserves to be defended from unrighteous people who want to take it. And in my case, one day saving a life may mean that I keep people's fluid volume up. Saving a life may mean that I practice fantastic sterile technique. And one day, God forbid, it may mean that I have to defend myself or somebody else. But I'm going to do it. Okay. 
Do you find that it's odd that you're a nurse and you carry a gun? No. I'll protect you. Just a little bit of fun chat tonight. I hope that was an encouragement for you guys. If you did enjoy the video, I hope that you'll subscribe to me, Patriot Nurse, for medical good stuff, medical prepping advice, um, good tips, things to store up. But also, like this is the real world, guys. This is real life, and this is what it looks like. You're looking at the face of a real nurse who embraces her natural rights, who embraces her God-given rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, man. We're about it. Hope it was helpful for y'all. Uh, by the way, I am teaching tomorrow, of course, in Jacksonville, but the full schedule for 2017 is up. I would love to see you there. And wherever it is that I'm going to be, I'm going to be lots of different places. I'm actually going to Spokane, Washington, I know. And of course, in Texas, I'm going to Richmond, Virginia, Indianapolis. There's lots of different places. I can't even remember them right now. So check it out at the website, thepatriotnurse.com. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. For now, it's Patriot Nurse signing off. I'll see y'all later. Bye.